Banner below at the bottom of your screen, the Chiefs just hopped up 17 spots in the first round. With the 10th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Patrick Mahomes, the second wow. quarterback. It is yes, Patrick I'm Mahomes, the second, not to Sean Watson. That was the apple of the Reed Dorsey Eye in Kansas City. Welcome to Roundtable Sports. I am your host, John Newman, and I am going solo once again. I don't have anyone with me today. If you'd ever like to join me, reach out on Twitter at TalkMoreSports. Uh, topic of the day, of course, is going to be Patrick Mahomes. If you couldn't tell from that intro, uh, that's what we're going to be discussing. Uh, Mahomes, where to start? Did you hear that reaction from the NFL Network desk in the intro? They were surprised. I know uh, I was not because how much this fan base hated uh, the game manager or said they hated the game manager um, and Alex Smith. And I didn't think they were going to do that to themselves and put themselves in a position, uh, Dorsey and Reed at the time, uh, to pick another game manager into Sean Watson. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, like I said, this podcast is dedicated entirely to Patrick Mahomes, uh, the cannon-armed quarterback out of Texas Tech University. For those of you uh, uneducated swine, when it comes to football, Mahomes is the next big thing. As far as elite arm talent is concerned, uh, there's no one better, possibly ever, in the history of this planet. No one's been able to throw a football as hard as Mahomes. He can throw it 62 miles per hour, has a maximum throwing distance of around 80 yards. He says it's more than that, which I don't know if I believe him, but, I mean, there's no reason not to, uh, which doesn't really do much for you on a football field unless you're in a Hail Mary situation. But regardless, I will always take the guy that can throw 80, mile, or 80 yards over the guy that can throw 75 yards. Uh, a lot of people I get into conversations with about Pat think that that's all that he is, that he's a big arm, but uh, they seem to think he had a turnover problem in college or had uh, uh, accuracy issues in college, which is simply not true. For those concerned about his accuracy, his uh, touchdown to interception ratio was 93 to 29, and his uh, completion percentage was 65% uh, his senior season, which, uh, I wouldn't really uh, be concerned about his freshman and sophomore numbers as much as that final season where he threw 41 touchdowns and 10 interceptions in just 12 games. Uh, for comparison, that season uh, was the year Clemson won the title on the fade or the slant or whatever it was to Renfro. Uh, and uh, Watson didn't even have 5,000 that year, and he played in two more games than Mahomes. I. I think he might have had a couple more touchdowns, but not that many. And he threw uh, six more interceptions and only played two more games. So, uh, granted, his competition was probably better. Uh, I'd say the ACC has definitely been stronger than the Big 12. But uh, it doesn't matter. When you're talking about uh, skills, their skill level, and being able to develop a player, I, I want Mahomes over everyone over everyone in the entire league right now. I wouldn't want Carson Wentz over Patrick Mahomes, and that seems crazy because the dude uh, had an incredible year last year. Um, his ability to throw on the run first, that's insane. He can make any throw from any position. A simple flick of the wrist has the ball going 40 miles per hour in the other direction, and he's athletic enough to do what Andy Reid needs his quarterbacks to do. In college, he was held under three yards of carry, but he made a big difference in the red zone. He scored 12 and 10 touchdowns, respectively, uh, rushing in the last two seasons of college. So uh, I think uh, I think it's safe to say he's pretty good at running the ball when it matters. Uh, and the guy sat behind one of the smartest, most experienced quarterbacks who was also pretty good at escaping. Um, I think it's safe to say Alex Smith's a guy you'd want to learn from if you're a rookie uh, and that's exactly what Mahomes did. I don't think the Chiefs would be moving on from Alex Smith if they didn't think Mahomes was ready, um, which uh, I think he is. I think he has been, actually. And uh, his receiving core is going to be much stronger. Uh, 
The addition of Sammy Watkins, of course, is big for the Chiefs, and uh, Chris Conley will be coming back from injury. A lot of people don't know about Chris Conley um, because he's been injured a lot, but he's a tall, um, pretty fast option. Uh, he needs to get better at catching the ball in traffic and working on his routes, but he's going to be a good good option for a strong arm quarterback like Mahomes. Uh, I'm such a fanboy of this guy, Mahomes, because uh, I've known the Chiefs were taking him uh, before the draft, like I said, and uh, I loved what he did in college. I watched his highlights from his junior season, and uh, I was glued to him. Uh, but Let's delve into some of those college numbers. Uh, 12 games, 5,052 yards, 41 touchdowns uh, in his final season. Like I said, he, he played for Texas Tech where they didn't have a defense. Cliff Kingsbury specifically coaches his teams without defenses. Uh, while manage, he managed to turn it over just 10 times through the air, uh, he's really good at evading pass rushers. That's one of the things that sticks out. He evades pass rushers. He runs behind the line of scrimmage a lot, which a lot of coaches don't like. Uh, they say stay within five yards, but I've seen him, uh, seen him make plays uh, further back than that. Um, like I said, he's a scoring machine with the 22 touchdowns uh, running the ball over the last two seasons. Uh, and I think he's destined to be a star because quarterbacks like that tend to become stars pretty quickly because they they put up good fantasy numbers too. Um, and that's what makes you a star in this league. I hate to say that because that is – but that is really the truth. Uh, if you're not producing for people's fantasy football teams, then they don't care how good you are. Um, his first pass in the NFL and his first start – was right on the numbers, and Demarcus Robinson dropped it. He dropped four passes that day. Uh, we're not going to hold it against Demarcus. He ended up playing well for the rest of the season after that game. Um, and that that play was covered by Chris Harris, but the same first drive uh, two plays later, he hit Demetrius Harris, the backup tight end, for 51 yards. I'm, I think if Travis Kelsey's there, you're, you're getting probably 10 yards after that catch. You're getting about 60, 65-yard play out of it. Um, the next drive, he threw an interception. And was looking kind of disappointing until the end of the uh, the end of the first half when he uh, made a long scrambling play, uh, evading uh, pass rushers and rolling to his right. He found Jehu Chesson just short of the sticks, who made one move and got the first down on a third and long. Uh, then Andy Reid decided to mix in the short yardage at the start of the second half where Mahomes was just squeezing the ball into tight areas. And he, he looked really impressive with his location, his, his reads and accuracy. Uh, he eventually got into rhythm. Uh, of course, uh, he led that two-minute drill that ended when he ran the West Coast to a tee. Uh, he uh, put the Chiefs in range of the Harrison Butker game winner, and Butker hit it, giving Mahomes his first career win as a starter in the NFL. Um, his preseason went pretty well. I'm going to go over some of those numbers real quick. I forgot to mention he did not throw a touchdown that day. He did run for a touchdown uh, against Denver, but uh, for the preseason. All right. Uh, I was not able to find a game-by-game -game, uh, stat comparison um, uh, or a game log, but uh, overall he had a good preseason. Uh, he completed uh, 34 out of 54 of the passes he threw, so that's a 63% completion percentage. Um, he was getting over 13 yards an attempt, which is very good, and uh, he, he threw for 390 yards. Uh, every completion went for about 5 to, five to 10 yards, and uh, he threw four touchdowns without throwing a pick. He only got sacked twice. He ran it eight times. He got uh, 44 yards on those eight carries. He didn't score a touchdown, but like I said, he scored the rushing touchdown against Denver. Um, actually, I think he actually stepped out, and I might be misquoting that uh, misquoting that game's stat log. God, you'd think I'd do more research for this sort of thing, but uh, yeah. Um, so that's kind of Mahomes as a player. Uh, Mahomes as a person, what I get from him so far is that he just seems like a really, really good kid. He's got his head on straight. Uh, seems like a family-oriented person. He's got younger brothers that look up to him. Uh, he was raised by his mother and, a, I believe, stepfather. Um, 
And uh, his dad, Patrick Mahomes Sr., 